Now to a dance project that's all about cultural connections. Colorado Ballet partnered with Kea Trujillo Claremont, a Lakota dancer, and 2016 Denver March Pow Wow Princess to develop and perform an original piece. This collaboration received the Imagine 2020 Award at the recent Denver Mayor's Awards for Excellence in Arts and Culture celebration. It's an honor given to a project that exemplifies the vision and goals of the City of Denver's cultural plan. Through our new community partnership with Denver Arts and Venues, we are thrilled to share this powerful story with you. I remember when she came for the first time in the studio and then danced in the front of us. It was something unique and unusual. You can see her passion through the dance. She's flowing, spinning around, and it looks like so it's, there's nothing to do. We can do it. But when the girls start to do it, it was hard. It's just natural. It's so effortless. It's just embedded in me. I can't really explain any other way because I've been doing it since I could walk, you know, ever since my parents introduced me to the circle, which is powwows. That's just tradition in our culture. It's out of the realm of what we do here day in and day out. So when I approached them and introduced Kaya and what was going to happen, it's a feeling out process between the two. And after two days, you could tell that this was just going to blend nicely. Everyone came from different background and then different culture, but again, the dance can bring them together in same time, in same peace, and also to feel, feel it by your heart and soul that it's something very important going on. I told them, this isn't something you have to be perfect on. This is something you have to feel. This is something, you know, you have to listen to the song, even though you may not know what it means, even though it's very, very foreign to you. As long as you feel like that drum beat and you hear the melody of that certain song, you're doing it right. You're just one rhythm. That's how we are as people. We all have the same heartbeat. Our audience had never seen anything like this, and I was so happy to put that in front of them and the reception uh, between the choreography and her singers. Oh my God, they, they, people were just, they were stunned, blown away by it to perform in the front of 100 audience. It, it was so unique. I think it's for first time in history of dance that was happening. as an artist, you're supposed to inspire other people. I feel like as a Native woman who is oftentimes misrepresented, it's my job to bring up issues that aren't brought up. And this is a way to do it. So if it's just this one group of girls that I can ch you know, change the perspective about who we are as people, then you know, I feel like I've done my job. If you don't take artists such as Kea and put them in front of our artists, they're not gonna grow. We need to constantly reinvigorate the art form and these dancers and give them many different opportunities at artistic development. It doesn't matter what kind of style, what kind of type of dance you perform. It's more about to show what's going on as a person inside of yourself and to show through the dance. I think people will appreciate that and they will understand so it's celebration of life. I got amazing feedback I didn't think I'd get from videos that were posted and I wasn't expecting to get that. I also knew subconsciously that if it's gonna be done with respect, then it's gonna be okay. Of course, my, all my family, all my community here helped me and <laughs> kept pushing me to keep going with it. We were just very proud of the work and what uh, Kay was able to accomplish with Colorado Valley. We were so proud of that and thought that it would be recognized and several people have reached out to us and would love to see more performances of it. It's just, it's been all inspiring It just means the world to us. I think the Colorado Valley did a wonderful job with, you know, just being respectful. That's all that matters to Native people is respect.
you can learn more about Denver's Imagine 2020 vision and see stories from other recipients of the Mayor's Awards for Excellence in the Arts and Culture at artsandvenues.com.